Hello all, and welcome to yet another episode of Sci-Fi Fantasy Saturday. Today is Warhammer 40k Day. I'm covering Heroes of Black Reach, which is an adaptation of the hero system from Devil Pick Games to the Warhammer 40k universe. So I'll put links to what I've covered so far, but that includes the big unboxing of the core game and the little unboxing of the drop zone issue number one, which is kind of a, a little sampler of the game. But now we're to Heroes of Black Reach Ultramarines reinforcements. And I uh, just want to let you know, I do not have the Orcs reinforcement, which was a companion type package to this, where it gave you reinforcements for the Orc faction, which are one of the two factions that you fight with in uh, Black Reach, uh, the Ultramarines and the Orcs. And this is the Ultramarines, as you see from the back of the box here. And I've got all this material on sale. Uh, and so that's why you're seeing it today. I'm just doing the unboxing and baggings of this stuff so you guys can see what it all entails. Uh, and uh, the sale's not going on anymore because uh, I got this over a month ago, last month or maybe a little bit more than a month ago, uh, and decided to uh, save it all up for a special day. So these are the Ultramarine reinforcements. If you're not familiar with Heroes of Black Reach, take a look at my uh, either my two previous videos that I'll put down below, the uh, Heroes of Black Reach um, or the Drop Zone, which talk a little bit about what Heroes of Black Reach is about. But this is really a, kind of a continuation of the Heroes of Normandy system, which was a continuation of um, the uh, Frontiers miniatures kind of miniatures type system but anyway so this is just going to be more units uh this as it says here it's going to be ultramarine reinforcement so these are going to be more ultramarines to build out your faction with there so what else we got in here we got something we got a little bit of some posters in there did i get everything yes looks like i got everything there so we've get uh ultramarine reinforcements and oh we got in two different languages there we go so can brushing up on my language skills. So this is just a fourfold, really just threefold because you've got the cover there. Um, but uh, let's go up here a little bit so we can see a little bit better of what we're talking about here. So this is just three pages here and talking about the recruitment options. you got some psychic powers here. Uh, this is taught this is a uh, this is a new scenario so you got a new scenario here and uh, two two new scenarios so you got two new scenarios and you're probably going to be using boards from the core game to build these out and so you got two new scenarios and some explanation of the abilities but mainly what you get in this is just more counters and these are nice thick counters need to uh, go down a little bit here so you can see just a little bit better these are uh nice thick counters put them this way as you can see there punch out nicely but uh they're basically just more units right so here is sicarius who is that first of those two new scenarios and this is what you get his build out is 80 you'll get his counter which is right here and you see on his counter, this is his special, all his abilities, like his movement, his defense. And then they have this nice little system here where that's what uh, that number there, plus three, that's what he does against light infantry or infantry. That's what it is in light vehicles. And then what, what how he matches up against heavy vehicles. Um, and, then any, and then you can build him out into adding some of this other stuff in here. You can add planning. So that's going to give him that every time you see a star, that means he gets like an extra order. Uh, so you can you have planning, or you can have, uh, you know, his the wrath, or battle plan, or sons of Gilliman, and this is what it costs there, and extra armor. So you can build out, it, depending on what the scenario requirements are, or if you're just doing like a free bit, free combat, you can set a point limit, and then he costs 80, and then each one of these costs like 5 or 10 or whatever you have there. Here is a new vehicle here, Annihilator. 
and the like. So you've got some new stuff there, and they're dual sided. You got some more here. Here's Brother Probrian, Devastator Squad Team. Got some extra ammo counters here. It's all double sided. And that red number, that's what the, the value is like when you defeat them. So it's like it goes to like your score. If you're scoring at home. There's a rhino there. So oh, these, as you see, they come out real easy. Pop out, just pop right out. And these are all Ultramarines, right? So uh, there will be a similar pack like this that has uh, counter sheets for the Orcs. I did not find them on sale, so I did not pick them up. And there you have it there. It's a Land Raider. And it's going to have like special abilities. And again, all, all those will be covered in the core rulebook, but if there's anything extra, they'll probably be covered in that reinforcement pamphlet maybe. And there you have it. So it's more Ultramarines. Who can have enough Ultramarines? So uh, that is what you get in a box of Ultramarine reinforcements. Uh, again, I'll put links to my unboxing of the core box and the drop zone so that you can get up to speed on all the stuff that, uh, well, not everything that's available for Black Reach, but quite a quite a bit of the stuff for Black Reach, as I'll cover it today on Sci-Fi Fantasy Saturday. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think about any of this stuff about Heroes of Black Reach or Drop Zone or the Ultramarine reinforcements. Is there good stuff in there uh, about the system in general, the hero system, or? Uh, about Heroes of Normandy or Shadows of Normandy, yeah, some of the other stuff that I've covered on this uh, system. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.